Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review. This is question 9C. We're just evaluating these expressions here and, and, went, and started looking for the exact value of these expressions. And notice when you see something like sine of 5 pi over 12, I mean, th this is always hinting at the sum and difference identities. Now, first of all, I, I want these things to be in terms of their reference angles. I always want to reduce these down as far as I go because I think those are the easier angles to, angles to work with here. But more than that, I don't want to work with radians, not, not in this context. Because I'm looking for the ratios, it doesn't matter whether I'm in radians or in degrees. In fact, the only reason to ask it in radians is just to make you work a little bit harder. So what I would do first of all is just convert that to degrees. Sine of 5 pi over 12, well 5 pi over 12 is just 75 degrees. Okay, now that's already my reference angle. It's already an acute angle, okay, this first quadrant, perfect. Now I just got to think, what angles do I know, what special angles do I know that will help me get to 75? And the answer is this will end up being the sum of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay. Now I go back to my sine uh, identity for the, the sum of two angles and I get that this is going to equal the sine of 45 degrees cosine of 30 plus, because the sine, the sine function here maintains that operation, the sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees. And now we're just going to simplify, we can evaluate these things. Okay, the sine of 45, that's just going to be root 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 will be uh, root 3 over 2. Plus the sine of 30 is 1 over 2. And the cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And so now when you, when you multiply this all out here, notice we're getting a common denominator of 4, and we're going to get root 6 here and a root 2 there. And so there we go. There's the exact form of our, of our answer.